Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about watt hour meters basically. Um, for a long time I've been telling people with e-bikes, especially DIY e-bikes, that they ought to have a watt meter and more specifically they ought to have a watt hour meter which is similar to an amp hour meter except that amps tend to go up as voltage drops in a battery so you're not really getting complete accuracy the way you would with a watt hour meter this is what we I've been using for a long time it's made by Drock it's sold on Amazon for fifteen dollars or twenty dollars depending on whether it has a shunt and whether or not it's a 20 amp or 100 amp version now this thing's alright but it has a static four, to four place display so it shows volts and watts and watt hours which is fine but these are more interesting this thing here is more interesting and this is the display for this this guy here feeds this display so how is this display being fed well this display is actually wireless and it's color and it contains quite a bit of programming so basically what you end up with is the other display but with a lot more information a lot easier to read all the information and then uh, it's wireless and it's also bidirectional so why don't we go into bidirectional what does the bidirectional mean when you hook up this watt meter you probably use male and female plugs so basically if you hook it up where the source is the battery or the load is the motor then it will read that current flow from the battery to the motor but if you start charging the battery the current flow is in the other direction and this won't read it so what we're doing right now is the current is flowing from this battery through this meter and then wirelessly to this display now right now it's just like if you were running an e-bike off a battery so it's showing two and a half amps or 31 watts which wouldn't be much power but it's the principle now what happens if we decide to start charging well let's turn the motor off and basically let's turn the charger on so now what we have is a negative flow which is not really the way you'd want to do it it's not the intuitive way to do it but so on on the top three lines you have volts which are going up with the charging amps which are going into the battery and watts which is the total wattage going into the battery okay right below that it says charge which means it's in a charge mode and it's actually counting down the amp hours that were withdrawn from the battery so every couple of seconds it drops like a thousandth of an amp hour so basically what you have is a system that is smart enough to tell you how much current how many amp hours how many watt hours you took out of your battery while you were running the motor and then it's smart enough to tell you how many amps you're putting back into the battery so when the two lines cross the theory is you've recharged so it's not exactly accurate to the thousandth of a watt hour but it's pretty darned accurate and what you're going to end up with is a strong sense of how the battery is working how many watt hours the battery actually has because you can see the voltage drop and when the voltage drops it means that the uh, battery is getting very weak and that's the best way to tell how many miles you can get out of your battery so that's the new Drock wireless color display bi-directional watt hour meter
So how do you use this uh, bidirectional watt meter for an e-bike? It's actually completely plug and play after you wire it up. The wiring is not complicated but you need the connectors that are going to match with what's coming out of your motor and what's coming out of your battery. So basically I have uh, the uh, bidirectional watt meter attached uh, here and then that comes out the other side and this goes to the motor and that's it so basically just a couple of connectors it's basically a little extension cord okay so if you go for a ride what happens basically you have this little unit here and you can put it anywhere you want. I put it in a cell phone uh, bike holder that has springy uh, arms on it or fingers on it, whatever you want to call it. So when I'm riding along it'll show me the voltage of the battery, it'll show me the amps being drawn, and it'll show me the watts. Then down below it'll show the amp hours and the watt hours. This is getting a little hard to see. but. Uh, 3.78, this is like an hour ride. I don't uh, ride very fast. And it's got a visual battery thing over on the other side. Now one thing about this is I have a direct drive motor and the motor will uh, regenerate. It has regenerative braking they call it. So when I'm using the brakes the regen shows up. The amps go to minus and it'll show a pretty big number if I'm going down a hill at 25 miles an hour and trying to come to a stop it'll show 16 amps that's a lot of braking power so basically what you're talking about is a watt meter that will show you everything that's going on so at the end of the ride okay here's the connector for the for the battery which in this case is also the connection for the charger because it doesn't have separate charger and uh, discharge and then when you uh, plug it into the charger it's going to show your uh, your amps going in and your watt hours and it's going to start counting down the uh, the watt hours basically like, excuse me it's going to start counting down the amp hours so it'll go from 3.78 and it'll start going down to zero and when you get to zero, the theory is that you're uh, pretty much charged. I'd still go by the, the voltage and the uh, amp input into the battery, but that would certainly show you approximately where you should be. The only disadvantage to the way this thing is wired is that it uses a USB port for the power on the display, so you have to have it plugged in, but... Um, I don't know. If, if I was going to make this module for a bike, or an e-bike specifically, I would take this thing here and I would clean up all the wiring and I'd encase it in uh, epoxy or something. Just have the two leads coming out, basically the XT60 connectors, and uh, that would take care of this. And on this I would put a small battery inside the display put a USB port to charge it and use it that way. And that's it.